So today I wanted to do a video, kind of, I guess it would be called, I've just eaten a cereal bar. I'm just checking it's not my teeth. That's not what the video is called, but it could be. Okay, take two. I wanted to do a video today, kind of, I guess it would be called, What Being Gay Has Taught Me. I mean, like, I've been gay this whole time, as I said before, but when you actually, well, from my point of view, when I actually kind of came out, I understood myself a lot more and realised what it was like to actually be openly gay, I guess. Okay, so the first thing I've learned about being gay is that there isn't any other, like, greater feeling than finally embracing who you are because it kind of sets yourself free in a way like coffee does it sets me free sorry you may notice in my videos oh, this is sidetracking everything in this video is sidetracked i'm sorry you may notice that every so often i make this noise <laughs> and i do that every day all day every second of my life i make that noise and my brother Robin, my big brother, makes that noise too. Um, it's one of the many great things that we've been blessed with on this earth, is making that noise. And what basically it is, is we have, like, I don't know if it's like, the, the, the holes in our nose are too small, I'm not too sure, but basically I find that I can breathe in and then I can't get the air out, like I'm like suffocating on oxygen, if that's even a thing. I like can't breathe, because I can't get anything back out of my face. So I have to kind of like go and push it out. <laughs> oh my God, I'm disgusting. Anyway, I'm sorry if I make that noise. I really can't help it. I usually try and edit it out, but it, honestly it happens a lot. So maybe that's why my videos always take so long to upload. It's because it takes me so long to edit it. I don't know. So anyway, back to it. Being gay has taught me to embrace who I am and that can set me free and I can just live life freely. And I I, think, I don't know if I've said in videos before, but I've always really struggled to identify with myself and kind of make friends with myself because I've, I was always hiding who I was when I was like putting on this front that I was straight and you know, I had boyfriends and stuff. I never really, knew who I was because I didn't let myself be the true me and that can be really hard and that's also really draining because you're constantly pretending every day and I would always wonder would I ever get the chance to be with a fair maiden would I ever get to kiss a girl properly and not just be like messing around like you know when your friends you and your friends when you're in like year nine like oh my god let's take a selfie and kiss each other and they'd be like oh my god yeah let's do it that's so funny and I'd be like yeah that's so funny let's do it um yeah I just wondered would I ever get the chance to be truly happy and not just be faking love all the time and as soon as I said the word to my parents I'm gay, like I like girls, I didn't really don't like boys at all, and they were like, we know, we already knew all this time. Um, I was just like, yay me, I finally know who I am, I'm Flory Branwyn Lyons, like, hey, I've been reborn, I'm a lesbian, I am gay, and I am proud. Here I am, lesbians, come at me, here I am. And that set me free because I could finally live a true life and it's kind of helped me, me with my mental health in terms of not being so hard on myself all the time because I just have accepted that this is who I am and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and there's no, there, honestly there is no greater feeling to feel at peace with yourself, finally, after 21 years of battling and whatever, trying to force a different mindset on myself. So I guess my advice is if you think you're gay, you are gay, it, it really doesn't matter. You are still human, love is love, there's nothing abnormal. Just be gay and be proud. And if people don't want to accept that, fuck them. Honestly, fuck them. I mean, not literally. That's disgusting. I just mean, get them out of your life. Bye. Do you know what I mean? Another thing Be A Gay has taught me is that I now understand what real love feels like and actually kind of how fucking terrifying it is. Now, because of my past, my childhood, you know, I've spoken a bit about my mum on here before. Uh, my 
perception of love growing up as a kid was very, kind of looking back on it now, was very distorted, it was weird, it was uncomfortable, I saw love as quite negative and very fragile in terms of the people you love, never knowing if they're actually going to be there and being let down by the ones who you're supposed to love the most, whatever. It really tainted how I saw love and that always confused me as well when I was with boys. I said I love them, but I love them as a best friend, not kind of romantically, I guess. But that always confused me because I was like, do I not love them because I actually am gay and I want to be with a girl? Or do I not love them because I don't really actually understand what love is or how to process it? Now that I actually have a girlfriend and we're in a very loving relationship, I understand what real love feels like because I do. I do love her, I love her to pieces, and I know it's different than me loving her as a best friend. Like, I love her as a best friend, but I also am in love with her, which I think there's a big difference between that, loving someone and being in love with someone. But also, that has opened a whole can of worms for me, because now I understand what real love is and what love should feel like. That has in turn made me feel very confused about the love I received from my mum and kind of from an adult's perspective I think has just sent my head spinning all over again once again because I'm like do I even know how to process love, do I know how to accept love, which is something that you know Ellie is very patient with me, my girlfriend, she's very patient with me about that because there are days where honestly I just don't understand the emotion, like I know that she loves me and I know that I love her but I don't know how to let it in I guess. I guess there are still walls that are up because of my mum but you know she's breaking them down and she has broken most of them down and just got a few more bricks to kick out the way throw through someone's window I don't know she do what she wants free girl I think my eyebrows are too bushy I'm trying out um like an eyebrow is it a cream or a mousse I don't know I don't know the terms but it's like a different eyebrow thing than a pencil trying that out at the moment, so uh, tell me if I've gone over OTT. The third thing I think I've learned from being gay is that girls are so different from boys. Now, bear with me. That may seem like such an obvious thing for me to say, and I may be coming across quite silly at this moment in time, but when you actually go from being with boys to being with girls, you're like, I mean, goddamn, there's a whole lot for me to learn. Like, I am a girl, but there are still things from a girl on girl perspective that I'm like, what? They never knew this was a thing, like, what? And that's not a bad way. Um, it's just, from my experience, you know, everyone's experience is different, I found that girls are more emotional in terms of maybe being openly more emotional. They have a better understanding of you because they are a girl, like me and Ellie, I think, you know, we're on a different wavelength to any other thing I've experienced. I think that is because we are both girls and we know how girls work. I've also found that girls are way more sensitive in terms of really properly trying to listen and understand you and are more in tune to your thoughts and kind of go, what I've experienced, more out of their way for you. And I felt like, you know, when I was with boys, Obviously I cared for the people I was with because they were like my best friends but that was all it was for me, that's all it was. But with Ellie, where she's my best friend and I'm in love with her, like she's my girl, I feel very protective over her. I feel like I want to do everything for her. I just feel this overwhelming like need to make sure she's alright and give her a big like headlock hug and be like, come here, it's, everything's fine, I've got you. I just feel like I need to do that, and like, I just feel like I've got a lot of love to give her, and I don't know, maybe that has nothing to do with her being a girl, it's just the fact that she's the one. Hmm? What did I just say? Who knows? So girls and boys, what's the book? Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, is that the way round? Is that what it's called? It's so fucking true. I've not read the book, but I can already tell you it's true. 
it is true, men and women are complete opposites and it's very interesting actually, very interesting. Number four, the fourth thing that being gay has taught me so far. There is so much more to life than me concentrating on exercising, concentrating on my body shape, concentrating on hating myself, that's been a massive part of my life, is hating myself. And again, I think that probably links to the first thing that I spoke about, that is, there's no greater feeling than kind of embracing who you are. Being gay and finding myself, finally, and finding my feet and finding a true happiness and a contentness, that's the word, has made me think I don't need to be in the gym every day, I don't need to be counting my calories, my macros, whatever, I don't need to be constantly comparing my body to others because there's so much more to life than that, that's not what life is about, it's about being happy and it's about loving others and loving yourself. There are many reasons why I developed an eating disorder but when I was in the gym all the time, every single day for like two or more hours, it was because I was trying to avoid actually addressing any of the issues in my head. Every single day I thought about being gay. I was having conversations with myself in my head like, just come to terms with it. You know you're gay. Your whole brain, your whole body, your whole heart knows that you're gay. What are you going to do about it? And that scared me, having to address that because it's a big thing. Like, having gone through my whole life being with boys, pretending I liked boys to then having to stop and end that all and say actually this isn't really who I am this whole thing has been a lie basically I'm gay and I desperately wanted to do that because it, I felt I feel so so attached to the word gay because it took me so long to I guess come to terms with it but since you know I have actually finally said it I almost felt like I didn't have any control over telling people I was gay it just seemed like it built up and up and up until finally it all poured out my mouth and I was like I'm gay, I'm gay! Like, I, hopefully I didn't say it like that or sound like that because that would have been very embarrassing but yeah, it just came out I'm gay, motherfuckers I don't need to run for myself anymore and I don't need to try and shrink myself by getting thinner I don't need to compare myself to others to try and change my way of thought I just have realised to accept myself and I'm still battling with my eating disorder and my mental health but it's it's a lot easier now there's just like one less thing for me to battle with now and it's it's great the fifth thing I have learned so far about being gay I mean these aren't the only things but they're just some of the things I've learned that you're not alone you're not the only gay person in this world. You're not the only one who likes the same gender, the same sex as you. You're not abnormal. And you need to celebrate the fact that you can love whoever the fuck you want to love. Before I'd come out, in my head I was like, why are you so worried about this? There's so many other people in this world that are gay and that are gay and happy and you know there's nothing wrong with that. You don't even care yourself if other people are gay because you don't see it as abnormal. So why in my head was I like, oh my god, I can't say it, I can't say it, I don't know how to say it. I thought people wouldn't believe me and that they would kind of not take me seriously and I knew that that would really hurt me because I was serious about it. And I don't know, there's a noise. Um, I don't know, I was just nervous to say it to be honest. Now I am openly gay. I'm like, what was the big deal about? You're just gay, that's all. Like, you love who you love, it doesn't matter. You, you're not like this freak or an alien or, you're just gay. And it's fabulous, I love being gay. And that brings me on to this weekend. I'm so, so, so excited because me and my girlfriend Ellie, I don't know if, you've, uh, if I've mentioned her before, but I love her. She's my girlfriend, she's really cool, and oh, she's my girlfriend. We're going to Pride this weekend in Brighton. Now, Ellie has been to Pride before, and she's like, you're gonna have the best time of your life, it's the best weekend ever. So I'm like super hyped. I'd be hyped anyway, but she's like my hype woman. Uh, I've ordered a big rainbow Pride flag off Amazon to take with me, because I need to get some of those classic photos that nobody else takes when they wear the flag around their shoulders original. Obviously I've never been to a pride but it does mean something to me already. All the people there are going to be people who just celebrate who they are and who they love and just the fact that love is love. Honestly, honestly I don't know what to say, I'm just, I just love it. 
but yeah I've wanted to do this kind of video for a while I thought it was very fitting to do it this week considering we're going to pride this week I thought it would flow quite nicely because Ellie and I are hoping to vlog pride which should be funny as hell um yeah I feel really happy at the moment and I love being gay I fucking love it <sighs> can't get enough of it Thank you for sitting and having a little chat with me this afternoon. It's afternoon for me, don't know what it is for you, but thank you for sitting and talking to me. And you are just worth all the happiness in the world and I really, really, truly hope you know that. Tell yourself it every day until you believe it because you are worth all the happiness. I'm gonna go now. And I will see you when we're at Pride.